Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Friday, which is awesome. Could not have come anytime sooner, in my opinion. Hey, uh, I got a tip for an estate sale today from my sister-in-law, Katie. Thank you, Katie. And uh, I bought some cool stuff there. I'll make a couple videos this weekend at least. Um, but uh, I ended up uh, going and I picked up this Peak One Coleman Expedition Stove. And I read about it and um, there's a lot of reviews actually on this stove. Apparently it's a, it's a favorite. People really like this stove. It's a really good performer. Um, however, they have since discontinued the fuel cell that uh, goes with it. So, yard sale uh, tip 256 of mine. Uh, uh, they're all equal in value, but uh, um, I gotta put a number on them so we can find them. But anyway, never, ever, ever pass up when you're estate selling or yard selling or garage selling or whatever. Don't ever pass up on a fuel cell and I picked up this power max fuel cell I picked up a 12 pack and I think it was five bucks now they're old this is this one is dated 90799 so this is a well it's a 20 year old fuel cell so I saw this stove and uh, I'm like, I got the fuel for that. So let's see what happens. I didn't pay anything for this stove. I paid very little. Um, I saw it and I knew exactly what it was when I seen it. I've never run across one of these stoves before, ever. And I'm, people that know me, I'm at sales all the time. And uh, I've never, ever ran across one of these, these, uh, these guys. Take a look at this bad boy. I don't know what they were thinking when they put this together, but it's it's basically a transformer stove. It's a two burner stove. You're seeing that you're seeing it folded up. You can see the framework of it. Here's the stainless steel uh, hoses, and you got your dual valve. And I think this is gonna snap onto there and flip over. Now I hope that I've got the right fuel anyway. But anyway, let's fire this thing up. So you got it in its folded position here. You just grab it and you open her up and you got yourself a two burner stove. It's pretty cool. Um, let's set it just like that for now. As you can see, it looks like it'd be in really good condition. Um, I don't see any damage to the structure of it. The diffusers look pretty good. Let's check this baby out. So, again, I don't know if that's the manufacturer date or the use by date. Nine seven ninety nine. This is this <laughs> this is some vintage stove fuel. That's how it looks. I think it's isobutane. Um, reading about this, apparently there is an adapter that you can obtain to convert this stove to propane. But I guess uh, it's not as, you know, the, the flame isn't as substantial when you do the conversion. But uh, let me see. Let me wipe this down here. A little dusty. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I've got at least a dozen cans of this fuel. Yep. Yep. Ten, ten, ten of these guys left. So let's see. It's a 10.6 ounce can Coleman Power Max. Yeah. Never, ever, ever pass up on a fuel cell. Let's see what happens here. Uh, maybe 
Yeah, no, it looks good. This is octang, you know, it's got a one, two, it's got a six sided dealio there. Looks like it's kind of keyed. Huh, I don't know how this, maybe that's just, a, okay, maybe that's just a, uh, a stand to get that off the ground. That's what that is. This little with it here, I was thinking that maybe it locked underneath to hold the can in there, but what does hold the can in place? That's what I don't know. It's on there now. I pushed it on there and I gave it a half turn. And it's holding in place. Let's see, uh, I bought a new little spark maker gizmo. There it is. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm hearing some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. There's one. Okay, I see it now. I see why people like this stove. It's awesome. That's why. You see that? That is an excellent, whoa, that is an excellent flame and it is hot. Wow. I see that it has a little uh, fuel uh, generator. It's getting better and better as it warms up here. This little uh, uh, loop. There's a little loop there next to the burner. I can see that getting hotter. Now I've got a nice, nice... Wow! We're going to have to do a boil test on this. Let's fire the other one up. Woo! That got a little hot. Okay, I see. <laughs> I see now why people are loving this stove. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. It is a great stove. Can you hear it? Mega score. I love it. All right, I'm going to turn this down here. Let's see what the simmer looks like. The simmer is fantastic. Can you see that? Let me turn this off. Can you get a look at those burners? Wow. Can you see them? <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you. I get it. I understand why people love the stove. Let me go get some water. Stand by. All right. In all fairness, I'm going to go ahead and turn one of these burners off. I'm going to turn this one up. Whoa! Okay, here we go. Two cups. Okay, one minute. And we've got the whole floor of the pan is, is small bubbles. A minute and 46 seconds and it's actually wanting to boil. It's getting real close. Minute and 52, minute and 53. Call it two minutes. <laughs> okay. Two minutes and 19 seconds. And we got a boil. 
220, 230. Let's just call it 220. Okay, that's an impressive stove. Give you one more look at the double. Look at that. Wow. All right, well, I'm happy. As you can tell, I'm super happy with this. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you run across a Peak One Expedition ever, grab it.